We all have a smartphone nowadays that allows us to chat to anyone in the world, read emails, play high quality games, find friends via social media and more. But did you know, a smartphone like device existed 21 years ago? This is a Cybeco. The Cybeco was released in the year 2000 and was targeted towards teenagers. It has apps that help you to study, like an assignment list, calendar, organizer and calculator. We can also do fun stuff, like allowing you to chat with friends. The way this worked was via radio frequency, allowing you to talk to anyone in a 300 meter range, working in a similar way to something like Picto Chat on the DS. Instead of having to use a keypad like on most cell phones, you have a full-on QWERTY keyboard that you can type on. You can also see everyone's bios, contact details and interests, similar to Facebook. You can also find friends and love interests in a close range with site community, similar to Tinder and Bumble. You can also connect to the internet via your computer to retrieve emails. And there is even a wireless access point that would allow you to retrieve emails and browse the internet wirelessly throughout your house. Cybeco even planned a wireless modem for 2G internet, but this presumably fell through. The Cybeco could play games too and was rather capable in doing so, being somewhere in between an original Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance in terms of power. Some of the games on the Cybeco were pretty cool and the handheld held a large variety of genres and the games range from having pretty basic graphics to full-on 3D graphics, albeit pseudo-3D. You download games on the Cybeco by connecting it to your computer, and the Cybeco site hosted hundreds of games in 2001, most if not all for free. The Nokia 3310, released the same year as the Cybeco, wasn't capable of such 3D graphics, it wasn't able to download games and applications, it didn't have community features, and generally most phones did not have well-implemented SMS functionalities, although the Nokia's chat feature it proved a very similar messaging experience to what we have now, and what we had with the Cybeco. The Cybeco cost $100 in America in 2001, and sometime between 2001 and 2003, it cost £30 in the UK. By 2003, phones have largely caught up with the Cybeco's functionalities, and carriers were offering lower cost options via family plans and pay as you go in America and UK respectively. And with the lack of 2G, the Cybeco quickly fell into obscurity. And that is the story of Cybeco in a nutshell, an awesome device, killed by the rapidly growing technological advancements. Thank you for watching this video, if you'd like to see more on the Cybeco, I have a full review linked in the card to the right. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next one.